Okay, it's later. I'm, I'm in another street. No, not till about, I don't know. I was kind of collage and stuff, but I didn't do paper cutting um, like 3D um, until definitely third year, possibly about halfway through something like final major project kind of, what should I do? Um, yeah, I think it, I've always liked making things 3D and then I think they brought the two together, just sort of naturally evolved together. Like and where do you think that came from? Um, well, I don't know. I was, I've always liked making kind of things, like more 3D objects and stuff. I just started hanging things up from wires and it just, I don't know, happened like that. Did you want to do illustration? Um, that's always what I wanted to do, I think. As apart from various other things when I was little, but as long as I've known, I always wanted to write and illustrate children's books. So As um, far as you can remember. Ever since I found out the girl who wrote the Munch Punch was nine and I wanted to beat her. I was seven. But she wasn't nine, she was thirteen, but my teacher told me she was nine, so I thought if I get published by the time I'm eight, I would like a record breaking <laughs> I used to send stuff off to publishers when I was about 14 and stuff, all the time. Um, but yeah, I think, I don't know, the word's quite more easy, I think. So you see, you see yourself more as an author illustrator? As I don't know, I still think it's strange to be an author, because that's like, oh, suddenly an author. Um, whereas I've worked at being an illustrator like, for the last year, while I was at uni and stuff. Um, whereas I've kind of always been writing, but it's not, I don't know. I would describe myself as an illustrator, but I think the writing is possibly the easier half. Why magazines? Why not bits of paper or...? Um, I like the found textures and stuff. I think I started off and just collected stuff and then, I don't know, just like looking through and finding the right bit for the right thing. And then York Sculpture Park, they just said I could do anything at all, which was quite... It was good, but it was just quite frightening. It's like, oh, it's this massive, massive window, what am I going to put in it? So I just thought birds, I don't know. Yeah, I do like birds. I think they're nice to collage with all, like the feathers and...
Did you write the Magpie's treasure? Yeah, yeah. Um, that was for my final major project at uni, actually. And so I just had a dummy book when I left, and I went to see a few publishers, and then Anderson liked it. So. But they liked they liked the text, and we did a lot of work on the illustrations, like pages. Um, but I think they liked the text, and that's why they kind of stuck with it. Some of the final spreads were in my portfolio, but they've changed that like, completely since then. Um, since then. Um, but yeah, it was just I had like the cover and a few spreads on the side. And I think, and it, I don't. It's difficult because I suppose it was quite aimed at children's books and things. But I know there's all these issues with collage looking quite still and it's difficult to get lots of life into it. And then because it's hanging, there's a whole thing with the photography, which in the end with my press treasure, it's all flat. So um, yeah, it was different that way. But then like things like rolling around a scanner and bits falling off and it's all, it makes it a lot more complicated than just, I don't know, doing watercolours or something. <laughs>